Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today's video is going to be quite an interesting one. Uh, I've been germinating some pomegranate seeds uh, from a fresh organic pomegranate that I picked up from the supermarket. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you two methods uh, for how to germinate these seeds. Uh, so the first method is the paper towel method. Um, essentially we just uh, germinate them in tissue paper. Uh, like what you probably did at school with some crest seeds uh, but we're going to be doing that method in a sealable tub and the second method is just the bog standard way of doing it just um, placing them directly into some compost and covering them over with a sandwich bag just to keep the humidity up in the tub in the pot so if you're interested in that um, stay tuned uh, we're heading indoors and we'll, ma we'll make a start and I'll talk you through the whole process. Uh, it was filmed over around about 16 days, so uh, I'll show you everything start to finish. Uh, I'll do multiple updates in between, and I'll show you how to transplant your germinated seedlings and how to look after them properly, uh, just to guarantee that they grow. So uh, we'll get started, guys. So I'll get back to you in a second. Okay, so first things first, um, we've got this organic, a uh, nice big juicy pomegranate that I picked up uh, from the grocery shop. Uh, you should be able to find these quite readily available uh, depending on where you are. Uh, so we're just going to cut it in half and I'm going to remove uh, as many seeds as I want to grow. Uh, so I'll just separate them from the flesh. Uh, if you've ever had a pomegranate, you know each of the seeds is covered in this fleshy fruit stuff uh, so just rub that off and then I'm just going to place them in a glass of water for now so it's a close up of the seed there so clean them up as best you can and just place them in a glass of water and give them a good old mix up uh, rinse them get all the as much of the flesh off as you can and then we'll tip them out onto this tea towel uh, we'll just get them as cleaned up as possible, uh, remove as much of a gunge as we can. And then we'll let them dry on here for a little while. Uh, they don't have to be completely dry. Uh, as long as they're relatively clean, um, it just reduces the risk of them going mouldy. Uh, so there's our seeds there. So I've saved 16 seeds from this. So I'm going to do 8. Uh, in each method. So uh, we're going to do two methods. The first method I'm going to show you is the paper towel germination method. So I've got a sealable tub here and I've put some tissue paper, paper towel in the bottom and we're going to moisten this. Uh, we don't want it dripping wet, uh, we just want it evenly moist. So it's wet to the touch but not dripping uh, and then we're gonna take our seeds and spread them evenly apart on here just give them enough room just so that when they germinate they're not going to be touching each other and also if one goes moldy you can take that out without it spreading to the other ones so we'll fold the tissue over and um, you can just check every now and then just to see if they've sprouted uh, we fold that over and we'll seal that tub up. Uh, these should take about a week or so to germinate. Uh, it can vary depending on your temperature. Uh, but generally around about a week. So the second method I'm going to show you is just the normal uh, planting them directly into a pot of compost. So I filled the pot up and I'm going to water this compost uh, it just stops it being as crumbly when you're trying to make your holes so using a small stick or your finger uh, just make your hole about twice as deep as the seed is long and place your seed in the hole Uh, once we've done all these, 
I will get the rest of them done and get back to you. Okay, so they're all in there now. Uh, so we're just going to gently cover them over. So just a thin layer of compost on top. And just gently firm them down. Make sure they're in contact with the soil. So they're all covered up now. Uh, you give it another quick water. And then we're going to seal this in with a this is just a sandwich bag, but you can use any piece of plastic, uh, as long as it's see-through. Uh, this will create a greenhouse effect in there, and keep the humidity up and a bit of the warmth in. So we're going to place these in a warm place now, around about 21 to, 20 to 30 Celsius. Okay, so we're going to check on these now. This is seven days later. So these have been in the boiler room where it's about 25 Celsius. And as you can see, we've got one sprouted there in the middle. And a couple of other ones have just started to germinate as well. That one there, you can just see the little white root sticking out. And the one at the top there. So we're going to give these a few more days in this tub. And as soon as a few more of them have germinated, we'll be transferring them to compost. So this paper towel is perfectly fine now. It's still damp. Uh, there's no need to re-water it now. Uh, the good thing about the sealable tub is not a lot of the moisture can escape. So generally you shouldn't have to re-water it. So I don't expect anything from the ones in compost yet. Because uh, you won't be able to see everything's happening underneath the soil. Uh, but I am going to add a couple of sticks. Just going to put one either side. Just to put the bag over. Uh, this will just allow a bit more air in the in the environment. To stop the seeds mouldy from going mouldy. So just cover that back up. And we'll leave these somewhere nice and warm. And get back to these again in another few days. Okay, so we're going to check on these again today. Uh, so this is day 10 now. And uh, I think these are about ready to be transplanted. So you can see there, uh, the majority of them have germinated. Um, a few of them haven't, but we've got enough for what we need them for. Uh, so we don't need them all to germinate. And we'll check the ones in the compost as well. I'll just uncover these, take the bag off. Uh, we should be able to see something now. Yep, so there we go. We can see at least one, two, three, four. And you can see number five at the back there. Just starting to poke through, so that's good. So we'll cover these up, we'll keep these covered over for another couple of days. Uh, just until they're, they're all out and their leaves are out. Uh, then we'll remove the bag. Okay, so now I'm going to be transplanting these germinated seeds. Uh, I've just got a little tub of compost here, a little pot of compost. And I've labelled it paper towel. Uh, so that we, we will remember which one's which. Uh, so just using a little stick or something, very gently ease the roots away from the paper. Uh, sometimes they can grow into the paper a bit. Uh, but if you're gentle, you should be able to remove them quite easily. And we're going to make our hole. So we want to get the root as far down into the soil as we can. So just be really gentle and put the root in. And then very gently firm in around the roots and leave the top sticking out a little bit. Just like that. So I'll show you one more and then I'll get the rest done off camera. 
So when you handle them, just try and hold them by the leaves and be very careful not to break the root. So just make your hole as deep as the root is long. Try and get the root down to the bottom and then very gently fill in the sides with compost. So I've got the rest of these done and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've transplanted all these into here now. I think we ended up with five out of the eight. Uh, I'm just going to dispose the other ones. Uh, you could leave them in there, and chances are they probably still would germinate, but five's more than enough for this little pot. So I'll give them another quick water. And then I will recover these as well, uh, just because we don't want them drying out. Okay, so I'm, I'm using the sticks again, just to create a humidity dome for these. Uh, using a little sandwich bag. Uh, like I said, you can use any bag as long as you can see through it a bit, so that some of the light can get through. Uh, as soon as these have, are, are completely out of the soil, where we are removing the bags anyway. Okay, so this is day 12 so this is two days after the last video last update so we're going to remove the bags now and i will probably be keeping them off now so these are the paper towel ones so we had five in there three of them are doing really well and uh, the other two are a little bit behind but they should all be fine you can see the seed shells have come off completely now and we've got the first set of leaves there. Right, let's check the uh, the ones that were planted directly. So interestingly enough, these ones seem a little bit more behind. And I think we've got six or seven in there. Uh, that one looks like it started to go mouldy there. So uh, if there's any that don't look too healthy, you can just pull them out. Because uh, we don't want anything spreading to the healthy ones. So I'll take that one out. And we'll just get rid of that. Try and get the root out as well. So now we've got five in there as well. Don't know what happened to that one. Looks like it went mouldy. Uh, but that's why we will be leaving the bag off now. So that it's not as humid. Okay, so this is day 16 now, uh, about four days later from the last update. And I'm just giving these a bit of sun on the windowsill here. And um, I have had these under the grow light, but I've just put them out in the sun to do this video. So the, the true leaves are starting to come through now. So the first set are the seed leaves, and the second set that you see there are the true leaves. So these are doing well. So I'll update you again in another few days. Uh, maybe in a separate video now, because this one's getting quite long. But anyway, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Okay, everyone. So uh, that's the end of that one. Uh, I might do a part two on this video if there's enough interest in it. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found the information in it useful. Uh, if you did, uh, if you could like the video, and think about subscribing if you haven't done so yet. Uh, any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, but I will see you on the next one, guys. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you all have a great week. I'll see you on the next one.